Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're working on this beautiful Jeep diaper cake that I made for my friend who's pregnant. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. That's why I kind of left it gender neutral, but feel free to use whatever colors you want. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So first we're going to need a box. Um, I keep these from my Amazon order since everything I have I order through Amazon. But you need something like this, more of a rectangle. I think this one's too tall. So I'm probably going to go with this one right here. And if you guys want to know, this one measures approximately 15 by 10 by 4 and a half. Okay, so this is the box and we're going to start off by cutting just a little bit around here to make the front of the car. Okay, now that the hole is right there, we're going to start off by just closing the bottom first. Now we're flipping it over and we're going to fold these inside. Okay, so now we're going to be taking our receiving blankets and I think I'll do this blanket right here. So I'll start off by just laying the blanket like this. This one goes in the end like that. Now we're going to fold these inside. And the back here, we're just going to fold nicely and tuck inside. Okay, so this is what we're working with, something like this. Now I'll be grabbing my second receiving blanket, and that one we're going to place right in the front here. Fold this one in threes. And this one's going to go right around the front of the car. Okay, and I'm just going to be using tape to hold it for now. If you have rubber bands, it'd probably be easier, but I don't have rubber bands that are big enough, so tape this one do. And the rest of the blanket here, we're just gonna put it inside. Like this. Now I'm gonna be grabbing some diapers. These were like five bucks at Walmart, and it's 50 of them um, in size one. Okay, so now I'll be taking 12 diapers and then just putting them right inside the front here. like this. Next we're going to grab some rubber bands here. These are the ones I have. If you have white that'd be better but all I have is black so that's what we're going to use. And we're going to start off by rolling our diapers into a nice little ball. And then we're just going to roll like a burrito. Don't do it too tight. Just leave it loose. And we're going to use the rubber band right in the middle to hold it. And make four of those for now. And these diapers that we just rolled, they're just gonna go in here. I have these baby washcloths and I'm gonna use these two yellow ones because those are the lights of the car. I'm just gonna be getting my washcloth right here and folding it over and then just rolling it like a burrito again. And those go in the bottom right here, like that. Next, we're going to move on to the wheels, and for that, we're going to need more diapers here. And I'll be taking six of these. So here are my six diapers, and I'm just going to let it relax a little bit in my hand as I just spin them around and make a circle. And as I'm holding it like this, I have a rubber band here, and I'm just going to use that to hold it for me. Just like this right here. And I also grabbed this ribbon from Walmart. It's one and a half inches in thickness. And this is what I'm gonna be using to go around my tires like this. And here we have four pieces for four tires. And what I'm gonna do is just place this on top, go to the middle, and then I'm gonna pop the way shut right here. And now I can remove the rubber band. And here is our first wheel. Now I'm gonna be grabbing some cardstock and just two papers of this and rolling it into a circle. Just something like this. And I'll be taking one of my washcloths and this one's just in a dark color. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna go under the tape anyways, but I'm gonna be rolling this right through the middle. Some tape and this is gonna go through my first wheel like this like that. and so you have 
this right here. Here I have done both sets of tires. And when you place it down, the box that we've made so far is just gonna go on top like that. Next we're gonna be working on the body some more. So now I'm gonna be grabbing the piece that we cut out from the front and I'm just gonna place it inside a piece of hard stuff like this and fold it over. This is what we have and that one's gonna go right in the inside like this. And now I'll be using some diapers to just make some seats. Just like that. Next, I'll be using this foam board. They're from the dollar store. And here we have my two pieces of foam board. These are two inches thick and 30 inches long. And here is where I'm going to be folding. I'm just gonna use my spatula and crease it right in there. That way this is folded like this and it can go inside just like that. Do the same thing to the second one. And now it's looking more like a cake. But we're not gonna leave it like that. We're gonna grab our last receiving blanket and wrap this in it first. Just like this. And if you wanna put tape on the bottom, um, that probably hold it better, so I'm gonna do that. And now that it's nice and secure at the bottom, go ahead and place it right inside. Do the same thing to your other piece. And I'm just gonna place it right on top. So out of the 50, I have five extra diapers, so I'm just gonna be using them. I'm gonna fold this one and just make like a little seat in here. So another one here. And I'm gonna put some seats in the back here. Since I only have three, I'm only gonna put this one in the back and then these two are gonna stand. And I'm gonna remove this tape right here. And I'll be working on the back now. I'll be grabbing two washcloths. I'm gonna use this light gray color. And open them up and just roll them up. Like this. Do that to the second one. Like that. And I did put some tape to hold it a little bit. But these are gonna go right in the back of the Jeep. Like this. Just like that. And if you want a better hold than just tape, feel free to use some pins right here. These also work very well. Next, since I had some washcloths left over from this pack, this is what I'm gonna use to make the tire that goes in the back right here. Just like that. And I'll be using some of my ribbon here. And now I'm gonna be grabbing a large piece of tape and folding it, placing it right here, put it right in the middle. And since it doesn't really stay, you could just put like a pin here, but I'm just gonna be using some ribbon, sticking it right inside. Add some hot glue, and this one's just gonna go up here. And this I am gonna use a pin to just hold it inside. And these are gonna go right here. And I also have this bibs because I wanted to add a little bit of color since it is a gender reveal. A cute little bib like this. Or if it's a girl, you can use pink, you can use white, you can use whatever color you want. And now you can put any stuffed toys. I happen to have these um, elephants right here. And I actually moved the pink and the blue bibs on the side right here. Um, I just thought it looked cuter. I added some more color. Also in the back here, it's hollow, so I'm probably going to add some baby stuff like shampoo, baby bottles, you know, other accessories. So it's really easy to put together. Just place the wheels like that. Your box just goes on top. So I forgot to mention for the mirrors here, you can use socks or little mittens. I'm going to crochet a pair and I just haven't done it, so I'm sorry this is unfinished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please also head over to my Instagram and TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And just thank you so much.